After gaining control over Bengal and Karnatak, the British power grew rapidly. They outsmarted the French in Hyderabad and made the Nizam dependent on them. They cleverly played one native power against the other for their own advantage. However, by 1779, the native powers realized the deceitful nature of the British East India Company. The Nizam of Hyderabad proposed an anti-British confederacy to the Marathas, aiming to overthrow the British from India. Heder Ali also sought similar assistance against the British. An influential Maratha minister named Nana Fadnavis, in consultation with key generals, devised a quadrilateral anti-British confederacy involving the Marathas, Nizam of Hyderabad, Heder Ali of Mysore, and Bosles of Nagpur. The plan assigned specific roles to each member, which had to be executed simultaneously in order to cripple the British and drive them out of India. According to the plan, the Marathas would attack Bombay and Surat, the Nizam would disrupt communication between Calcutta and Madras by blocking the Vijaywara route, and Heder Ali would launch an attack on Madras. Meanwhile, the Bhosles of Nagpur were to collect tax called Choth and Sardeshmukhi from Orissa by going to Puri. Once the attacks were initiated elsewhere, the Bhosles were to target Fort William in Calcutta and destroy it. The Confederacy was a brilliant concept. If it had been executed as intended, India could have gained independence from the British in 1779 itself, preventing the United Kingdom from becoming a global superpower in the 19th century. The world would have been vastly different from what it is today. However, unfortunately, it did not come to fruition. The Bhosles of Nagpur proved to be the weak link in the plan. Due to their long-standing animosity towards the Peshwas, they leaked the plan to the British and began negotiations for a favourable deal. The British bribed ministers from Nagpur to prolong their stay in Orissa. They also reached out to the Nizam, offering financial assistance and the restoration of Guntur. The Nizam agreed and didn't play the role that he promised to play. As a result of the treachery of Nagpur's Bhosles and Hyderabad's Nizam, India remained enslaved for nearly 170 years. That's all for now. Please like, share and subscribe to Deccan Diaries for regular updates. Have a good day.